Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to show how we can create this form over here. By the way, this is viewer requested. Okay, let's start. Let's begin by creating three circles. Okay, I'm going to duplicate two more by pressing and holding the ALT key and dragging using the gumball something like that make this a bit bigger, press and hold the shift key something like that, okay and after this, I'm going to create the initial subd object using subd log okay. I'm going to type subd log Like the curves as sections, press enter. Okay, I need to turn this on, adjust shape segments. And here is where you can decide like how many uh, segments you want. Okay, I think the division also need to increase the division. Let's click this something like that okay i think i'm quite okay with this kind of uh, arrangement you can click okay let's hide the original curves okay and i want to make the flow less linear so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to filter and turn on the sub object so that I can select the individual faces, vertices, as well as the edges. Okay, so um, let's select this. Make sure that the gumball uh, option is set to align to object. Okay, and drag this up. move this down a little bit something like that maybe can move this a little bit down as well okay, something like that The whole idea is to make the ISO curves less rigid, less linear. Okay. Okay, maybe something like that. And now I'm going to make like a inner detail. I can do so by using the subd's uh, bridging function. Okay, so I'm going to go to subd tool. The tool that I'm going to use next is this one. Okay, so select. So let me just move this up a little bit. Something like that. Okay, this. I want to bridge to here okay so let's click the bridge and select this press enter and bridge to here enter I'll get something like that okay here's where you control the number of segments okay I think Maybe this will do. Two segment. Click OK. But this is too linear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this whole loop here. I'm going to do a double click. Press and hold the shift key to do a proportion scaling. 
Let's turn to ghost. Okay, I think I can bring this down a little bit. Okay, something like that for a more natural kind of uh, form. Okay. okay, assuming that I'm done with the main form creation, what I'm going to do is uh, I can proceed to turn off the subject so that I can manipulate the whole uh, form again and the next thing I want to do is to create like more uh, wireframes okay, so to speak and what I'm going to do it is to mesh this object so at the command prompt type mesh enter select the surface to mesh enter okay uh, let's click the preview or oh, this is too much okay so as this is a sub d object right you're going to use this option over here okay i think this is too much okay this will be fine okay click okay so now let's just move this aside okay so we have a meshed object okay and we need to use this now instead of the the original sub -tea. so let's hide this okay now i need to extract the wireframe from this mesh okay to do that go to here click on this extract wireframe select this enter let's move this back great we got this wireframe okay let me hide this okay so from this wireframe we want to create thickened um, details okay so to do that we can use the multi pipe okay so at the command prompt type multi pipe okay enter select curve to pipe it's this oh sorry i need to select the whole bunch okay i think what i'm gonna do is let me just scale this thing a bit bigger Gonna type the multi pipe again. Select curves to pipe, select all this, enter. Okay, you can see now that um, we have some kind of detail. Okay, I think I'm going to turn on the shader mode. It might slow down my comp uh, because of the huge amount of tessellation that needs to be done. Okay. I think I'll just visually try to figure out the form. Okay. The struct value, um, we have to leave it as zero for a nicer uh, soft detail. Okay. So I'm going to press enter my comb is like a bit laggy okay great now we have these details okay nice details over here and you can see you got these uh, circular details because the struct value is set to zero okay let me just uh, put this over okay great there I come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you bye